Hello everyone. Today we will see how to interface a 16 cross 2 LCD display with 8051 microcontroller. Before interfacing this with a microcontroller, we should understand few of this terminology about the LCD. As you can see in the picture here, a 16 cross 2 LCD display, as name suggests, 16 characters and 2 lines. So, in every single line, it can handle up to 16 characters at a time. Such two lines are there. So, in the market, commercial LCD, that is liquid crystal display, is available as 16 cross 2, 16 cross 1, and 16 cross 4. Apart from that, there are even some customized display which can be used in some personal gadgets, electronic gadgets. They use a customized display of the same technology. Now the 16 cross 2 LCD, each character is nothing but a set of pixels. So typically a 5 cross 8 or 5 cross 10 pixels are arranged for every character. The main advantage of this LCD is we can display any scripting language, any script on this which is related to any language we can display. But the commercially available LCD will support the ASCII characters that is the English as well as the uh, numeric values to be displayed on LCD with straightaway programming. If you come and see the uh, pin description of this LCD, there are uh, starting pin called VSS is here which is a ground pin, then VDD that is supply plus 5 volt and V0 is a contrast pin. So that is used to adjust the the contrast of this LCD so that in the darkness we had to adjust the contrast and RS read write and enable are the pin the meaning is given here the RS is register select RW is read write E is enable so these are the three control signals given for the interface apart from that you have D0 to D7 that is called as a data line so D0 to D7 is a data line which is used to connect send the data as well as receive the status of this LCD and finally you have an optional 2 pin which is for the backlight. So in the darkness if you want the brightness this this LCD character if you want to see you should have a backlight so that you can see the characters displayed on this LCD. So the A and K are the anode and cathode pin of a diode if you power it you get the backlight for this LCD. So these are the basic structure of an LCD display and a pin description of a 16 cross 2 as well as this is similar to even 16 cross 4, 16 cross 1, the pin description remains same. Now you need to see something more. Let's see something more about the construction of the LCD. Even though in your curriculum this part of construction of an LCD is not there, but you can just have a look into the construction. This LCD is actually basically contains different layer as you can see layer A, B, C, D and E and so on, F, so on. So there are different layers and finally in the user end there is a cover glass and there are polarized films are there which is used to polarize the crystals of the liquid crystal display. So the, the, there is an illumination which is made also the, the energizing the films and that that makes the the display to be achieved on every segment or the every pixels of this so in brief if you want to see how exactly this should be achieved so the basic principle behind is that an electric current is applied to the liquid crystal molecule so that is tend to untwist it so that makes uh, the change in the angle uh, of a light which is passed through the polarized glass and this causes the change in the angle will causes the the reflection or the, the 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 contrast on this LC so that makes a dark uh, illumination compared to the others so this will make LCD to give the the display on the screen if you closely look into the construction, uh, the characters which is displayed on the LCD, as I already said you that it is basically pixels and every 
pixel consists of 5 cross 8 pixels uh, generally but it changes 5 cross 10 and so on and uh, it remains same for all the liquid crystal display. So let us see again uh, in detail about the 16 pins of this LCD uh, and we need to discuss more about the three control signals that is RS, read, write and enable. They are the three important control signals that we are supposed to look into and its meaning because that is more important for us to study uh, basically sending the control signal for the LCD to display certain characters. So, uh, so RS is actually register select which will distinguish between two modes that is command as well as data. So the command is controlling the LCD uh, cursor movement or clearing the display or it can be uh, scrolling the display. Uh, apart from that there is a read and write signal. So read pin is used that signal is used to read the busy status of the LCD or maybe the cursor position of the LCD. And write is used to write the command as well as data and enabling the chip that is chip enable en is actually used to enable the chip for the read and write functionality and finally data lines that is d0 to d7 or db0 to db7 so let's look at uh, some more features in detail of this control signals that is rs so it indicates when rs is low you can see here when RS is low, the data is to be transmitted, treated as a command. When RS is 1, the data is being sent is considered as a text data which should be displayed on the screen. So the main difference you should understand when RS pin is low, the data is treated as a command as I said clearing the characters or clearing the screen or maybe moving the cursor or moving the line or maybe clearing the entire display scrolling all these considered as the command and when RS is 1 and if you send something then that is treated as the data to be displayed so it's very clear another is read and write signal so it says that the information on this read and write when this read write bar is high means the program uh, is effectively reading from the LCD and uh, when you make this RW low means you are writing something to the LCD that is for displaying the data and finally you have enable so enable is used to latch the information whatever given to the LCD either it is a data or may be a command so this line will go from high to low signal required so you need to give high to low signal here to give a enable to this LCD so in the LCD display there are two modes are possible for displaying the data so that is 4 bit mode and 8 bit mode they are the two famous modes that we use 4 bit and 8 bit so the only difference is that in 8 bit mode so all the 8 data lines are connected whereas in 4 bit mode only 4 data lines are connected to the controller for sending the data. So obviously 8 bit mode is faster because you are sending a byte data for the display whereas if you go for 4 bit mode you need to send uh, 2 nimbles that means uh, you know that the ASCII character consists of 8 bits. So if you are putting in a 4 bit mode definitely 2 by 1 by 1 2 times you need to send the 4 bit data. So that is the only uh, the disadvantage of 4 bit mode but advantage of 4 bit mode is you can save the number of IO lines that is the main advantage. So otherwise you need to use 8 data lines and 3 control lines together 11 lines that is required for IO interfacing whereas if you go for 4 bit mode you need only 4 data lines and 3 control lines totally 7 so within one single IO port you can handle an LCD so that is the main difference between 4 bit mode and 8 bit mode so LCD initialization it is an important step uh, of programming in LCD uh, 
uh, when you interface it with the 8051 or any other microcontroller. So what is usually done in LCD initialization? As I already said there are four two modes that is 4 bit mode and 8 bit data mode. So that is what initialization. So you need to tell first which mode you are going to use whether you are going to use 4 bit data communication or 8 bit data communication. So there is a set of the commands that you need to send as a command. So usually for 38 that is a fixed number you can get it in the data sheet for this and uh, for 8 bit data line initialization because I will discuss about this 38H meaning in the next uh, uh, slide. So after that you need to send the LCD on command as well as uh, the incrementing the cursor position and clearing the display. So let me tell you what exactly these four steps are actually doing. Uh, along with this uh, video file I have already uploaded uh, one more uh, file called lcd.pdf and this will contain uh, some of the useful information about this LCD. So basically it is helpful for you to understand the construction as well as the pin description which I already discussed and uh, a simple prototype of uh, how exactly we can uh, communicate or interface an LCD using a simple digital circuits. So these features are explained. Now coming about understanding about the, uh, the basic of this commands as I discussed. So there is something called as a command. See this table is an important table that you need to understand. So what it tells you here is uh, the command uh, usage of the command. So that you see it here first command which is given here as a clear display here. So this is a this is a place where it is given as clear display. So this one and clear display the meaning of the 8 bit data is 000 and 0001 that is called as clear display 01. So when you are sending a command there is a set of uh, data that is already defined and only those data has to be sent. So if you send any other number it becomes an you know illegal data format so that when you are sending the data it has to be in that format. So similarly you have a display and home cursor if you want to bring that to the home cursor you need to send 0 to as given here in the third tech column and uh, the different meaning of this is given. So we have seen actually 0F. So 0F somewhere in the fourth line you see the cursor on off so D and U. So meaning of the D is given here 1 is to display on. So that is 1 so always display will be on and U is to the cursor underline. So if you want that in LCD there is a cursor which is going as soon as you are entering the character there is a cursor which is moving. So if you want to turn off the cursor you can turn off it. If you want to remain the cursor to be there you can uh, keep it on. If you want that cursor to be blinking then you, there is a B option. So B is in this the same line. So since we have given 0F as a command the meaning is we are displaying the cursor on as well as the display on as well as the blink on. So that is why the meaning is 0F. Similarly you look into the last one 38 you remember there is a number 38H send. 38 meaning it comes in this uh, the function set line you see. So that is 0011 0011. So that is 3 0011 is 3 so 8 bar 4 it is written here 8 bar 4 that has to be made 1. So that 8 bar 4 if it is 1 means 8 bit interface if it is 0 means 4 bit interface. So if you are going for uh, 8 bit communication it has to be 38. If you are going for 4 bit communication that line has to be made uh, 0 uh, that means uh, the number becomes 28 if I am not wrong 28 ok. So it is 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2 so that rest of the number is 8. So since we are using a two line display so it is 1 and rest all is unused so no problem so it is 3 and 8 is a number. So that is how the command is controlled. So I, I suggest you go to this uh, PDF document so whenever you are using a project work basically having LCD display you have to refer to this. 
So theoretically this much detail is enough to understand the meaning of the command in LCD. So that is a, the meaning of the LCD initialization that we did. So if you see that command, so you will understand why it is 38, 0, F, 0, 6, 0, 1, all that. So those thing has to be data has to be sent as a command. So, so next we will see how to send a data to the LCD. So that is an important thing. So the steps for sending the data is actually will be given below. So it is a logic that determines whether you are sending the data or a command that is distinguished by RS that is already you are aware of. Now let us see how to send a data. So you have to make first read write bar low. So RW has to be made low because you are writing something to LCD and then RS if if it is made RS is 0 means we are sending command it is already fixed and if RS is made 1 that means you are sending a data to be displayed and finally after doing the first two step that is RW low and RS either 0 or 1 put the data on the port line so place the data back say if the data lines is connected to the port 1 port 2 you need to place the data there then you give a pulse signal from high to low on the enable line. So there is a delay required for this LCD to process so a nominal delay will be given. So if you repeat the step you can send the data for the display as well as command. So this is basically steps. So in the exam they may ask explain the data steps in. So here is a set of instruction that we can write. Uh, for sending a command so you need to send see first instruction you see uh, the clear rs so clear rs is telling the lcd that we are writing the uh, the data which is a command now and uh, next to move the data by to the port line whichever the command that is supposed to be loaded to port 1 and then so the whichever data is to be sent supposed to be placed in the port which is connected to the LCD and set bit enable and clear enable gives a high to low signal and a call a delay which is uh, required to finish its internal process. So this is a this is a function that is LCD underscore command and uh, followed by a written. So in most of the program you find this kind of a instruction for sending the command. Now let us see how to display data, data to be displayed. Similar thing, instead of clearing the RS, we need to set the RS bit which is connected to the LCD and uh, you load the value to the port. So ASCII character to be displayed should be sent to the port. Remember if you want to display character A, the ASCII character of A should be displayed. Similarly character 1 if you want to display ASCII character of 1, that is 31 should be placed in port 1 then set bit enable clear so this is sending the clear signal call for a delay which is nominally in terms of you know 500 uh, nanoseconds or maybe 1 millisecond delay is enough and return from the function so this is a simple function that is supposed to keep repeating whenever you need to send a character for the display So here is a typical circuit that you can use it for uh, connecting an LCD uh, with 8051 microcontroller. So in exam if you find a question, uh, so uh, construct a circuit uh, and display a character ABCD on the LCD. So you have to write the circuit diagram. So where I will be explaining now few essential things, very easy circuit. So it is straightforward if you understood what are the pin definition in LCD this is very easy connection. So as you can see these are the basic connection to be made on this that is crystal connection that is a very fundamental required for every interface as well as reset connection you can see here pin number 9 is connected to the reset. So, so that means when you press this button you get logic high which will reset. Enable EA I already explained for the external to disable external memory EA should be made high. So these are the essential so all these things are the essential connections required so now now what is uh,
So now what is required here is to see the data. Data you see here. So data line here it is connected to port 2 as you can see here port 2 is connected with the data lines. So now and control signals you see which is connected to port 3.4 is connected to the enable line and uh, port 3.3 is connected to read write and port 3.2 is connected to RS. So now sending the command and data is easier. So what you need to do is you need to activate these control signals port 3.2, port 3.3 and port 3.4 and send the data byte required and that makes the display on the LCD. So this is actually one of the 8 bit mode communication that I am so that I explained. So this is a typical connection required for an LCD to make 8 bit connection. You can see here the contrast pin is connected to the port that is RB1. So if you vary the port, the 5 volt will give you the full contrast and 0 gives you the low contrast. So a potentiometer is connected between uh, at the end VCC and ground. If you vary the potential, the VEE that is actually the contrast pin will vary its value. So that makes a change in the potential there and that contrast will change. So, so another connection that I wanted to leave is 4 bit connection. So this is also one of the mode in which we can use LCD in a 4 bit connection. In most of the project to save the IO lines they go for this 4 bit mode connections. As you can see here port 0, 4 lines are connected to D4 to D7. Remember in 4 bit mode it is D4 to D7. So D0 to D3 are left open in 4 bit mode connection. So, so we are going to use sometime we can use this 4 bit mode or 8 bit mode. So there is no restriction for in your examination but project you can choose whichever mode is convenient for you. So the only disadvantage here is we have to send a there is a separate set of the protocol. So only 4 bit at a time will be sent. So RS read write enable control signals remain same functionality of that remains same. The only thing is you need to send it twice to send a 8 bit data. This is about a 4 bit mode communication. Yeah, this is one of the file that I have written for the LCD interfacing in 8 bit mode. So in this program, if you see, I have declared some of the IO pins that is port 0 is declared as 80H and port 2 is connected to A0 port to do is A0 there is a device address actually IE registers and all so these are all something I used a simple assembler where it needs all this definition otherwise the code starts with this L jump uh, start here L jump start and it goes here so L jump start is declared here ORG50 this program is uploaded on the same YouTube link you can download and you can reuse this code in your actual project also whenever you because this is a tested one which I have used long back. So what I will be doing here is actually initializing the uh, port as an output and you see here the function L call init i initializing the LCD. So initializing LCD I am writing the command now hash 3c. So you can refer to the manual 38 is also possible 3c is also possible refer to the manual for the usage of this commands and I have called this for every data I am sending I am calling L call command L call command they are the command for the LCD. What is the command? See the command is given in a slightly different way what I said uh, the only thing instead of calling the delay I will be checking first whether the LCD is busy or not. So if LCD is not busy then this L call ready status will monitor rest of this program remains as per the protocol and you see here similarly display I'll be checking first ready then rest of the protocol so you see ready what I'll doing is I'm reading the busy flag of the LCD so how to read the busy flag first set the port 0 to input line that is the data should be pulled high then you send the control signal that is RS is made low you are accessing the registry clear A5 is a command and set bit A6, A6 is read write, we are writing it, reading it now. So set bit A6, then clear A7, set bit A7 that is low to high transition will come here. So clear A7, normally it is high, 
and now it becomes low then again make it high then wait for the 87 87 h actually port 0 7th pin that is 80 is actually port 0 87 is port 0 7th bit that is p0.7 i am checking the busy status so in in lcd the busy status comes in the 7th line of the data line so you can refer to the manual all these things because the in-depth details are more but uh, for your project programming this is essential but for your uh, semester programming these things are not so important you can just manually follow the simple protocol what i used in the the previous programs okay so this is what required in your actual program this is actually display character i will be displaying the character so character is here declare drug count is so i will be displaying the character on this lcd so this is a sample program for lcd provided in this video okay you can refer to that